it, it's kind of a horror tale, really. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution um, had an, it conducted an interview with Marjorie Taylor Greene, this psychotic, ignorant freak who lives not that far and represents a district not that far from the Daniel Scappin studio here. But in this interview, she says she's not made up her mind on whether or not she'll run for Senate in 2026 when her term as a member of Congress runs out. But she did say she was interested in becoming the vice president in this interview. Oh, my God. Oh, According to the Journal Constitution, she said, quote, I haven't made up my mind whether I will do that or not. I have a lot of things to think about. Am I going to be part of President Trump's cabinet if he wins? Is it possible that I'll be the vice president? End quote. Ugh. I mean, this has to be the dumbest, craziest Q bitch ever. Even dumber than, than Bobo. Lauren Boebert, represented from Colorado. But she has been, well, it goes without saying, uh, one of Trump's top defenders since before he was elected in, uh, in, in uh, before she was elected, I should say, in 2020 for the first term. And she said she would be, her word, honored to share the ticket with the orange bastard. And she said she would consider being the vice president, quote, very, very heavily. <laughs> and quote, I'll consider it heavily. It's very heavily, I'll consider it. Now, the Republican governor of Georgia, whom I don't like, but I tolerate, Brian Kemp, he is also rumored to be interested in a Senate run in 2026. That would be fun, huh? And Brian Kemp, to his everlasting credit, is uh, looks at uh, the Q bitch as what she is, just a dumb shit. Um, Kemp did not support, as you know, the Orange Bastard's attempts to uh, destroy the 2020 election here in Georgia and across the country. Uh, and that's all part of the criminal cases against the bastard. Um, but the lack of support, you know, when, when Kemp, when the Republican governor of Georgia didn't support this filthy pig Donald Trump, the Q bitch got her balls in an uproar. Um, she said in the interview with the Journal Constitution, quote, his message, referring to Brian Kemp, his mes message should have been this, not arguing with President Trump about the election, and making about his own ego and pride over Georgia's election, end quote. I don't know what the hell that sentence means, do you? But this is the way the Q-bitch talks. Then she added, quote, that's a bad statement. I was very upset over it, end quote. The bad statement being that Governor Kemp, after three recounts, made it clear for the third time that the results here in the state of Georgia favored Joe Biden not this psychotic fucker named Donald Trump. Um, now, a attempt by these Christian fascists to get into the Senate in 2026 would likely force them to run against Senator John Ossoff, Democrat of Georgia. Um, he, Ossoff, is currently the far away the front runner for the nomination with about 53% support according to national polling averages. Um, the Q bitch, Green, is one of the most disruptive and stupidest ass members of Congress. Um, she makes no effort to work the Democrats in the House. She once called Democrats pedophiles. Uh, she is very anti-Semitic. Remember what she said about the forest fires in California were caused by Jewish space lasers? Jewish space lasers. This bitch is out of her mind. She is insane. And she's talking about running for the Senate or being the vice president. 
Now, she was stripped of her committee assignments in the last Congress after she made some comments in support of the uh, QAnon conspiracy theory, which is overarching. It, 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 it means if you're not a, a Q bitch like her, you are somehow unworthy of being a human being. And she advocated uh, for political violence. This Q bitch is a sick, sick dog. I mean, she really is. No offense to dogs, sick or healthy. But she's advocating political violence. And this year, she emerged as a chief ally of the cowardly little bastard, little butt boy, Kevin McCarthy. And she moved away from the far-right Freedom Caucus, where she was previously a vocal member. She's in a, an area all her own now. Call it uh, uh, Christian Nazism would probably be the best way to put it. Oh, Jesus. So... There you have it. I just thought I would throw that in to screw up the rest of your day or your evening whenever you're listening to this bonus that this psychotic Q-bitch from here in Georgia is honestly thinking, well, uh, I bet I could be a good vice president. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits like me, Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, can, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.